I should automate that all that transitioning in the in the stream. I need to sit down and, and fix it. Ever since I put the widescreen uh, monitor up, my the resolution's all messed up on my. I don't I don't really know how to fix it. I thought I thought what I've done would have fixed it, but it hasn't. So I need to troubleshoot and see why where it's actually pulling that resolution from. Because I changed the canvas size, but it's still wrong. Yeah. It bothers me when I watch the playback and my my map and all that stuff is all smooth. In my uh, in Streamlabs it looks right, but on the actual, you, you know what? I should watch it live. I wonder if it looks li right live. It's the VOD where it's all smashed. Give me a second. Map is squished to the right quite a bit. Yeah, so it's yeah, so it is the playback. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Everything even even my camera is more smooshed in than when I had a, a standard size screen on it. Yeah, it doesn't look your camera doesn't look as bad as your map. Fair enough, no point in turning that on then. Alright. Yeah, I'll have to figure it out. I just haven't sat down to to play around with it. Yeah. All right. Um, I think I have too many tickets. Yeah, I only got six right now. I don't even how how many days are left even. One Just or two. the today and the reset. Oh, okay. Right. So if I yeah. get in tomorrow morning early. Yeah. Yes, I'm at I'm at ten. Uh, what should I do? What should I do? Maybe I should uh combine the dragon and get another dragon piece. Where is it? Fragments, right? Where is it? Fragments. Oh, well, I got all the fragments for a new dragon. And I got two of the three pieces so far for the mount. Oh, there's three pieces for the dragon, I, so I could get one more. Yeah, there's three pieces for the dragon. No, I have one of the pieces for the mount so far, because there's two available this time. Yeah, I got both of those. Yeah, I I'm figuring I'll have them available next next event Is too. That a heroic silhouette? Yeah, the Griffin feather and Griffin. The Batchian incense is what. Yeah. Make the, the dragon again. There we go. Cake! Cake! I take it back. I do have the two pieces for the uh, for the mount. Yeah, was, I thought, I thought you did because we talked one. about it the other day. Yeah. My brain wasn't working apparently. I've got enough for the drag the soul fire dragon illusion and I've got all the current pieces for the quasi griff well I just gotta get rid of stuff and call open the bank got too much stuff in my bags I haven't played since Wednesday, like actually played, and uh, I remember my bags kept on filling up and I haven't emptied them or anything. Yeah, I just did a bunch of that when I did my uh, uh, crates for today. Well, I'll probably do the dailies real fast. I mean, I'm only missing one of the style pages for this event, so I could just go buy one. I tossed you an invite, yeah. DP and BC get on. Yeah. We're halfway there. I may just go buy that last style page since I only need one for the entire thing. I got all the style pages from the crates except one. Actually, I should go check the bank. Yeah, I was gonna say, I wouldn't be surprised if it's in the bank. The guild requests 
your help. Haven't checked the bank in a few days, so. Funny the uh, Please, the quest indicator is not popping up for the Ritz the for me, but they they were there, they were available. It just wasn't showing the yeah, little chevron. Did that to me. It did that to me the other day. There was nothing there, but the one I clicked on the board, they all popped in. Yeah. Hope that doesn't. Hope that's not a sign for us to have issues. Yeah. I feel like we haven't had issues in a while. I haven't seen DP since last Monday. Wonder how he's doing. Was he here Friday? No, I don't believe he was. Why did I? Oh, my inventory is full. Just what I said. <laughs> I just said that, huh? That that my inventory was getting full. No, I don't even have enough room to do the dailies. Nope, and I had nothing to sell. All time, right. uh, yeah, time to do something. Yeah. This is a bunch of stuff that needs to be DE'd, but not on this character. Wow. I have like four of the Swarm Mother's Mask. That's the monster set from uh, one of the White Rest series. I can't remember if it's the first one or the yeah. second one. No, nothing in the bank. I need the Saber Keel Greaves. Of everything else. I gotta go through my bank stash and uh, kill all the duplicate uh, epic pieces sitting in there. We've been we've been doing dungeons and and I just been dumping everything in there. Yeah, I did that. I dumped all the uh, all the. Uh, monster sets and stuff that I have into a couple of the chests that I have in my apartment here. Mm -hmm. And the other day I went through and I'm like, damn, let me get, let me look and get rid of all these duplicates. Yeah, we've been, we've I been doing this duplicates. Oh, so we've been doing this for what? Almost a year. So it's been, it's adding up, right? It's got to be at least half a year, right? That we've been doing this for at least. Yeah. Yeah, I got plenty of of, of uh, uh, medium armor in the bank. I have a bunch of uh, Hunding's Rage stuff. <laughs> the nice uh, stamina set there. Yeah. Do that and equip some dual wield and a bow and level that stuff up too while you're at it. Just in case you ever want to do a stamina build. Yeah. Or or, my, or a two-hander and a bow. That's what my Khajiit is. Is uh, warden. Stam warden. Yeah. Uh, group DPS seems to favor dual wielding, and solo seems to favor two-handing. Grib jelly. I got Drax in that. Oh God, I gotta go clean out these treasure maps in my bank. Oh, I know. Tell me about it. And these surveys. I might just start selling the treasure maps. I never get anything good in it anyways. Yeah, I usually don't either. I almost feel like it's a waste of time to do them.
Oh, I'm dead. You uh, accidentally just, summon yeah. your. <laughs> yeah, and I'll just I'll just die because I'm in the bank and there's no way I'm gonna get away from the guards going having to go through the door. Almost feel like I'm bad luck. Wow. Well, Mary's fighting the guards for me. These shoulders are valued at 275,000 gold. We'll sell that. See if someone will actually buy it. Over a quarter million gold right there. A billion gold. Wait, yeah, nice. million? That's a 275,000. Which is going to be by far the highest uh, sales I've ever had if it sells. I think the next closest thing that I've ever sold was uh, sold was uh, Perfect Row, which what is that going for now? Sixty million, fifty million around there. Uh, Perfect Row, you're still selling that, aren't you? Fifty or sixty thousand. Oh, why do I keep on saying million? Yes, I, I, that's what I meant. I don't know why I keep on saying million. Between fifty and sixty thousand a piece. Minotaur shoulder. Make sure that I already learned that. I did. Oh, that cost me some gold. <laughs> Got a repair now? Yeah. Oh, repair. no, the, uh, yeah, the, uh, the bounty, right? Yeah. Well, no, no, because when they killed me, they, everything went away, but then I had to repair. Oh. And I know it was fully repaired because I sold some stuff after I did my my red, so I was fully repaired. And then I went to the bank and hit the wrong button. Eh, three hundred and thirty-eight gold. That's not too bad, though. No, it's not bad, but it's three hundred thirty-eight gold <laughs> I didn't need to spend. <laughs> Yes, I have three hundred thousand in my bank or in my bags, and I have over four million in the bank. In the bank, but I I don't like spending gold. Don't blame me on that. Oh, there's that guy. Don't get up. There right, he is. Want... Try to stay informal. How are y'all? Good, good. How are you? Not too bad. Yeah, I'm just gonna sell I'm it. Good after I paid my repair bill from doing something stupid. What did you do stupid? I summoned my healing minion while I was in the bank. And there's two guards in there, and you can't get out the door quick enough to run away from two guards in there. <laughs> so I just died. Why does your healing minion cause them to kill It's you? a criminal act, because he's evil, because I'm summoning him as a Yeah, because it's a spirit. Yeah, it's a yeah. spirit. I'm summoning a spirit. It's criminal. You don't like necromancer. Oh, that's weird. I never would have thought that. Yeah, it's, it's a necromancer thing. We have a couple spells that are like that. Comrade, a word. Let's see if I summon my skeletal arcanist or do the stalking blast bone. Or if I happen to do my glacial colossus. Or my spirit guardian. I did. Okay. It's like, like picking a chicken. Yeah. Be able to do it. The guild has need of you, comrade. If I'm here in town, I can usually run away and be okay. But it, 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 when you're inside a building behind a door, yeah, kind of hard.
See how much space I freed up there. Oh, uh, not enough. Only got 20 slots free. Let's get rid of more stuff. assistant that lets you uh oh the uh, deconstruction one de 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 i couldn't remember i could think of the name deconstruction here you wouldn't happen to know what very expensive but uh i think i will have good use of that well come next come next month i'll have enough to buy another one and i don't know which one i'll buy I'm thinking the deconstruction one because I don't I don't use the bank as much as some people do I guess. Now Fazez, yes, and the deconstruction one probably. The main thing is to free up inventory. Yeah. Yep. All part of the inventory management game. Right, ropes boast. Eight more you. Oh, maybe I should buy stuff here. Be you. Nothing to bind. Blows of the combat. Man, a lot of combat physician stuff. What is that? Light? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. That's all purple because we've been doing that in a uh, veteran. Oh, I don't even remember what pieces I need for Drake's Rush. I think I'll just leave that all in here for now. My uh, uh, my UI is weird. It's uh. All my uh, pop-up uh, things are are clear. I can barely use them. Do you know what's going on there? Make some of my good food. Ghastly eyeball. Oh, that's a month. You know why my uh, my uh, pop up windows and my UI are. Are clear. What, which, what do you mean your pop-up windows? Like every, all the windows, I can see through them. Oh, your transparency. Are you using an add-on that affects um, any of that? Like uh, Pixel Perfect? Nothing new. I think it's called Pixel. be wrong on that, but uh, nothing new? Hmm. Maybe just try reloading your UI then? I, I did. Uh, yeah, the only thing I can think I, of is if you have... Lo log. Yeah, so the only thing I can think of is, is if you have the transparency uh, adjusted where you can see through stuff. I believe you could also adjust the transparency in the standard settings. Let me look at that. I'm looking for that. Do you have any idea where it is? I don't see anything. That is some. to sell. Keep your hands off the number keys. This is really annoying.
Yeah, I don't see uh, really. The only thing that I can see is uh, to adjust your uh, your uh, scale for you. That wouldn't have it. I can see inner. Or UI really. It might be one of my add ons, but which one? Who knows? I, I would guess bandits. Look at bandits, because that's your general UI. I'm using bandits too, and I don't have that issue though. Base option. Oh, I just changed my UI to pink. <laughs> it's a setting in bandits. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it like that. Hey guys. Hey, what's up, BC? Are you are you watching this? Are you watching the stream still, Drager? No, let me get a look. If you look on the bottom bar where where my quick slot is, I have a, my little pony pony down there now. For my UI. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was a setting in bandits. I was looking to see if there was anything that would, you know, yeah, address DP's issue. <laughs> oh man. Uh, DP, are you able to get in, or are you? Yeah, he's Fine. in. He's having a problem with his UI though, where the transparency is really, really light, and he can see through everything. And I don't know oh. what is adjusting his transparency. I think I need to turn down the game music. It's always so loud. So where's that pink pony that gets I can I can hardly hear you too though, DP. I don't know if uh normally I don't have a problem hearing you. Can you turn me up on the I could turn you up, yeah. I just I just wanted to point it out first because I wasn't sure if you might have adjusted something or a lot of times when I have trouble hearing people it's because their mic is on their head and not in front of their face. Yeah. Is anybody else uh, not, not being able to hear me? You sound yeah. about the same yeah. to me. Yeah. Good for me. I could adjust it. It's fine. So where is this pink pony thing? No, that, yeah, that's in Bandits. So, so when you go to Bandits... And you, uh, which is where I was looking to see if there was something that would help for you. But when you go to Bandits and you you click on the on the on the setting add-ons, right? Uh, the add-ons settings. Uh, number one for base options. Uh, there's a theme, and you could adjust your theme. So the I think it's sta standard, smooth or something. I think it's what it usually uses. I, I'm not sure. I should have looked. I didn't even look. But yeah, I changed it to Pink Pony, which is uh, the My Little Pony one. Might have had it on custom gloss. But I definitely didn't have it on the standard. I changed it to pink ponies, that doesn't help. <laughs> yeah, that's the my little pony. Well, did it did it change everything back to normal for you or, or is it still No, it's the same. Yeah, I don't I don't know what would finish thumb with you because I kinda got distracted there with that first one. That frame. Color. You could try going reset to default or something. Like that is usually an option for that. I don't know where though. Yeah, if you, it's, a, it's his interface though, right? Not his frames. So uh, I didn't see uh, reset to default on uh, in the standard uh, settings, the standard interface settings. Yeah, I don't see it anyway. Um, I, I mean, I, 
it, I guess it depends what where exactly is going on. But if I just go to settings, interface, Z for defaults, at least that's what it shows for me. But I mean that might not yeah because it, it's pretty basic stuff. But... No, yeah, you're you're right. In um, for I think the default for that is actually X. Um, but um, but what what I was what I was saying is it doesn't say anything about transparency in there. But yeah, I mean, sure, you can re you can reset it to default, see if it fixes it. Yeah. I don't yeah, see. Yeah, I, mean, I don't see transparency as an option at all in there. Yeah, neither do I. But yeah, if 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 you if you go to settings, um, interface, uh, DP at the very bottom, it'll tell you what your default key is. My default key. Yeah, because mine is X, but BC's was Z. Like the key to switch it to defaults. I'm looking at interface. I don't see anything about default. Should just be at the very bottom of that menu. It'll say default, so then it'll have a letter next to it or before it. Under settings interface. Settings yes. interface, and you don't even need to scroll. It should be right there. Yeah, at the exactly. Left. It's just right at the bottom. Yeah, I, none of us oh. are sure that it'll actually work, but you know. Um, it's, and it's probably not going to hurt as long as you remember, what you, like you saved your variables or whatever. No, didn't do anything. Well, I probably did something, but didn't fix it at all. Um, so, have you guys started a group? Should I? I did, yeah, on? I did. Let me get you invited. Yeah, I'm gonna, no, no, I gotta switch characters. Okay. I was just like doing my horse training and stuff. Yeah, I was trying to see chatting. if I could find what was going on with uh, that that guy is just uh, DP there. Yeah, I mean, it's a frustrating bug. <laughs> Definitely worth figuring out. Um, so I'm logging in on my usual character. That is I it play. is it playable though, DP? The way it is. Yeah. <coughs> I generally don't need the pop-up windows when I'm playing, but it's, it's just frustrating. I'm kind of hoping that, you know, you shut down after tonight then and uh, and then you boot it up tomorrow and it's all fixed. <laughs> yeah, that was my thought too when I said try reload. I rebooted and everything. Oh, uh, you did? Mm. I reboot before every game session. Yeah, were you having problems with it though before you rebooted? Yep. Oh, okay. Just started today. I thought this was something that just happened right. Nope. I had a weird thing happen when I created my uh, new healer, or what it will eventually be a healer, per your suggestion, DP, and um, it for some reason like reset my camera. And everything and it was at like a really crazy angle and then it and it did it for all of my characters and i'm like what and so then i tried but, but the settings were still like adjusted for the angle of field of view and all of that so i was like on this character I'm like this is not where the view usually is but i would go into the settings and it would still show like field of view is maxed out blah 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 and it was so frustrating. And then I just kept sort of logging in and out of characters, trying to figure out what was going on. Eventually, just like suddenly, it just worked when I logged in one time <laughs> on the same night and everything. It was really bizarre. And uh, I'm ready for an invite, right? Never. All right, I'm gonna. I'm gonna shoot you an invite and then I'm gonna mute. Uh, actually, I'm gonna drop a uh, Discord real quick because like, I got to adjust volume settings. Uh, let me see. All right, so I'll be right back in a quick.
All right, I think that's uh, good. Can I get a mic check? Yeah. Loud and clear. Yeah. <coughs> I might have to lower you guys now. DP, it wasn't. It was not you. It was me. Okay. But we'll we'll that's see how why, all that goes. That's why I asked how other people hear me. Yeah, and that, that's why. Like I said, it's normally yeah. Usually one or the other. It's the windows. There's an urgent task for you. It's actually it's Discord, not Windows. That's why I always leave Discord when I do it. Yeah. There's an urgent task for you. I love it when when people ask questions in Reddit and nobody gives an answer they just say things like oh i'd like to know too <laughs> i don't uh yeah i don't frequent reddit i really can't stand it yeah i'm just doing a google search and that's what popped up yeah i get it i just it's like it's just toxic you know what i mean it's like really i don't need that i just want to know if you know yeah, I just want to answer to the question, uh, discussions. Um, yep, I got Apparently other people have this problem, but nobody has said a, how to fix it. I have no idea where Black Drake Villa uh, ranks in the difficulty. It's actually one of the easier vet modes, according to that list that we, you know, okay. how we found on Reddit. There was like voting. It was it was sort of not that much harder than Banished Cells too. Apparently, I've also done it a lot of times on normal, which obviously there's it's a step up in difficulty. But I know some skips that will probably work on vet too, do you, do you, so we can just avoid some of the difficult um, trash pulls. Is there is there difficult trash pulls? I mean, so so here's the thing, right? Because uh, we we've been doing a lot lately too. When when I say we Dra Drager's been in there with us, but the Wednesday group's been doing a lot. And um, I'm assuming that that when you skip stuff, you're talking about not doing any of the the hidden bosses, right? Don't you guys want to do the hidden bosses? We could do the hidden bosses as well if you like. Yeah, yeah I was I, meaning like to... tr trash pulls just so we can spend more time fighting bosses, less mm. time fighting trash. Right, but but to pick up the the hidden bosses, you have to pick up the wisps. So I, I don't think you could skip anything because then you yeah. won't have enough wisps, right? Because we'll yep. have to. Yeah. yeah, if you want to do the hidden bosses, then we'd need to. That that sounds fine to me. Yeah. Let's yeah. Do it. Let me know when everybody's ready and I could queue us up. I am ready. What about you, Drager and DP? You guys ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Is right. this a pledge or just... It's a, not. A regular... Okay, because yeah, I don't have pledges. Yeah, I'm ready. Awesome sauce. Dungeon Binder. Specific dungeon. I'm, uh, I'm going to have max number of... Well, it's technically not the maximum, but I will have four pets at times. <laughs> so <laughs> it's going to get fun. Uh, I am looking for either a lightning staff or a frost staff. Dra uh, Drake's Rush. Just uh, so you guys know. So I'll check in a second once we get in whether I've got them or not yet. I have not got the frost or the lightning stuff of Drake's Rush, so I've got a shot at getting them for you, and then I'll just give them to you. Awesome. Got to make it to the last boss, though, to for those... Well, unless we look for chests. They could drop in a chest. I'm pretty sure I don't have it either. Like the I can tell you're wearing ebon armor <laughs> because my health is my health is only at 95 when I zoned in. Yeah, it's like excellent bonus of down. When I get that that Drix Rush staff, I will no longer be using the ebon armor set. I'll be using the power assault in Drix Rush. 
Yeah, because the and that'll help with our ultimates. Yeah, so that'll be good. Yeah, I just don't want to switch to it because it's not a complete set. You know, missing the. Uh, oh yeah, that's not the way. It's a the sewer. Yeah, it'll be a broken set, right? Because I'll be missing the two pieces from it. So I've never done this in in veteran either, but I've done it plenty of times in normal. So okay. I guess we could just expect everything to be a little bit harder. Just uh, yeah, cake and scroll and food. Yeah. And yeah, if we we could probably do what we've done before, where we um, you know, if we if we die, we'll we'll look it up. Yeah, I agree. Need some nice progression here. Did you go into this? Into the sewer. Uh, yep. I I was talking to Evely. Oh yes, yes. You probably haven't been here before, so uh, yep. follow the quest. Uh, I think it's pretty straightforward. The quest. It it just goes. It, she's gonna run pretty much where we have to run, anyways. So, all right, I'm gonna pull him in here. Oh, you know what? There is a, a thing I know that, that we read in um, one of the guides about the salamander, so I'm betting that that's going to actually matter now that we're doing it in Veteran. Something about, I think the salamanders need to stay away from the Torrens or something, or the Minotaurs or whatever they are. Do you smell that? Oh, uh, that makes sense. they got a big circle. Yeah, yeah. so you probably want to, like, drag the salamander or the minotaur away probably the minotaur away and then we burn the salamander yeah, so i'm gonna pull him i'm yeah. gonna pull it while he's while he's away okay yeah and i'll we focus the salamander yep Yeah, so that was good. That, yeah. That's trying to work. Here it goes again. While the salamander's away. Well, maybe not the salamander came, so... But I'll keep the minotaur on this side. That is nice though. It's a lot easier to keep everything together. Take it. Thank you for the heals, DP. Yeah, welcome. It's my job. Oh, I got a, a gold lead. Right, so we're going to clear. Oh, you got an elite? Nice. Oh, yeah, nice. Golden Idol of Mora House. Yeah. That sounds like a cool deco. Yeah, I don't. Is it a deco? I don't know. It kind of sounds like it, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know. Makes sense. I'm pulling the salamander out. It comes out of the salamander, yes. Wow, one shot. 
Yeah, did you see how, how that salamander got on him? He started glowing red? Yeah. Yeah, so. Did he get stoned? Yeah, they get stronger. That's why we got to keep the salamanders away from him. So, try to kill the salamander first now, since he's staying over there. And then I'll go back and pick him up. All right, so ow. Uh, so so that should be all for the mobs. Um, there should be DP. You you know where all the pressure plates are, right? There's two on on the east side and two on the west side. Uh, they're down here though. There's like there's pretty much one in each corner. That we so we all got to stand on a pressure plate. Uh, okay. Let's see. So let's go to over here so I can show you where the two over here on this side are. Down in the bottom. Yeah, yeah, they're all down here. Yeah, so there's gonna be. I don't remember exactly where, but oh shoot, what are all right, doing? I'm on one. Which one are you on? Um, okay, that's what they look like. Uh, you're on the left side of the map. Down one. Okay, so DP come. Yeah, it's DP, stay there where you're at. Stay there where you're at. I'll go to you, show you where the other one is, and then I'll grab the one that's left. Yeah, so there should be one back here in the corner somewhere. Oh, Draker's on it. That's what I was. Yeah, I'm on that one. Okay, so come over here. The other one's back here then. I'm assuming BC, you grabbed the one by the trap door, right? Yeah, it's okay. um, yeah, like I'm in the north. Yeah, the so, so then there's one south of you, so I'll grab the one south of you. It's around here somewhere. It's like a little round uh, pressure plate. It's like almost like a sewer grate. Yeah. Yeah, I saw the one that. Uh... That Drager was saying, oh yeah, so there should be another one around here somewhere. That's the one that I want you to stand on. Actually, it might have been by the house. I normally don't stand on the one on this side, so I don't remember exactly where it is. I usually stand on the one that BC's on. Not that it matters. It's just, that's what, how I remember them. Oh, it's right here. Here it is. If you stand on this one, DP, where I'm at. See how to get there. I'm on the other side of the house. Yeah, just go around. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Yeah, so you have, to, you have to come through the water again. Through the water and then yeah, stand on that one right there, and then I'll, I'll go grab the one on the other side. Okay. Oh, BC is actually the one on the south. So there's one north of you, BC. I'll grab the one north of you. Okay, I'm on it. There we go. So now everybody needs to come to me. Just look for me on your map. Uh, through the door, BC. You pass it to your left, over here. There you go. And then there's a trap door over here, which leads us to the first secret boss. Just drop down. Boy, you would never find this by accident. Oh man, you should have saw it. It, it was yeah, it was fun. We 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 did we did all of this without looking up any strats the first time. Huh. Did you even know there were trapdoors you're supposed to? Find? No, it, it, well, we knew that there were secret bosses, but yeah, we, we we found it. So yeah, just like, hey, this looks suspicious. I don't remember this being open before. So then we dropped down, you know, it was one of those things. But how did you find the four pressure plates and know that? Because they looked suspicious. Also, we knew we knew that we knew that there were there were secret bosses. So we knew we had to do something. So they looked suspicious. We were looking for four of them. Yeah, that's cool. I I, I did the two new dungeons. Out. Um, with some people on the first day and they were hunting around and they'd spend like a few minutes they're like there's going to be a secret door somewhere I saw the boss by the way guys sorry he's over here yeah so th this was it, it, it literally the first time we did this it took us the, for the full two hours that we had allotted I forgot to switch um, builds but should be fine for this guy So it sounds like the baby is uh, enjoying it. I don't need this baby. Damn it, you got away from me. Right when I, I did my ultimate. 
I think he, yeah, I think he just jumped. Right yeah, you know, he jumped, but he jumps away right when I did my ultimate. That's what I was upset about. Oh, okay. I can't get out of that thing that's doing damage to me, though. PC, DP, I mean. And in next day, I forgot to switch builds. This build doesn't have the other skill. Well, I'm healing as fast as I can. Yeah, no, no, you're fine, you're fine. I just wanted to let you know that I wasn't trying to kill myself. <laughs> then I saw that I was dying. I do not know why my... Why I can't... There you go. On my horn. Okay, so... So now here's the thing, right? Guys, there's going to be... Um, now there's wisps. See these wisps right here? You need. We all need to pick up wisps. We should get an even amount of wisps. So if... if if one person has four, we should all have four. I just that. I just picked one up. Then it was like I went next to it and I pressed X. Correct. So, yeah, yep. we're and we're all gonna get a, our fair share. So, on the bottom right hand corner, you'll have a little counter down where your buffs are. Like right now, I have one. Does everybody have one? Well, I can't find it. Where is it? Don't don't. No, I. I didn't see. No, yeah, no, we won't. We won't. Bug. We won't yeah, see it. I don't it. have a counter. We we won't. You definitely have a counter once you pick it up. It's it's down where your buffs are, where where like your food buff is and all that other stuff. It's on the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Well, not on mine. Yeah, yeah not on. I picked it up in it. Okay, yeah. so well then, well then look look um by hitting your character sheet, you'll see where your buffs are. Yeah, I see echo of zeal and fragments. The only yeah, the only problem with that is it doesn't keep track of your fragments in that screen. You, I don't I know. I, I don't know if I you guys. Oh, I see. Yeah, I don't I know if you guys turn off your buffs or something. We need to be able to keep track on how many you have. That's so I'll just manually count. I know I've got one, so I'll just keep counting. Shall I, I got it? two. Yeah, so no, you should have, have two. two. Like I said, we should have an equal amount. So just keep running around till you see the other wisp pop up in this area. Yep, I got it. So I've um, that. That's two for me now. I don't oh, see that anywhere that I know that I've picked there up. There should be two here. Let's see. So everybody have two? Yes, everybody should have two. Yep, I've I've picked up two. Okay, I'm gonna and I don't see any more. It's it's well, they were all they were all right here no, and they're no, no. very obvious. Yeah, so it's it's not yeah. a shared amount, oh, yeah. guys. Hold on. It's not a shared amount, it's just like chests. Everybody will have uh, an equal amount. Everybody will have their own. Yeah, just pick just pick up all the ones you see. Essentially, yes. is what you're saying. Yep, yep. So I've done that. I picked up two. Okay, so, so we go go I'm, through I'm the portal do, now. Yeah, we can go to the portal. I'm gonna do one more thing though before we go, just to give you an idea so you can see what I'm talking about in uh, Undaunted channel in Discord. I'm posting a screenshot. That's the screenshot of my bottom right hand corner, and you'll see at the very bottom there's an icon with a number in the middle. Now, I am using Bandit's UI, but I know that, uh, like Malachi was playing with Wednesday, she doesn't use Bandit's, and she had the indicator there, too. So yeah. I'm betting you guys have it somewhere. I just don't know where. I, yeah, I maybe AUI must, like, not recognize it as a buff or, or, like, it's disabled in some way. I can fiddle around another time. Actually, I see it in four different places. <laughs> okay, so where, where, where's the other place you see it? Maybe these guys will see it in one of the other places you see it. I see three of them down in the lower right hand corner and then there's one under my buffs in the middle. Okay. So I have, I have multiple add-ons that display buffs. Alright, yeah, well, we, we have to keep track of them though because we need to get 30 of them. Uh, we each have to have 30 so that we can summon the last boss. Okay. The number must go up a lot because we're oh, only okay. two. So here, here's another one out here. So I just got one. And this is what this is why I was telling you that we would, we probably wouldn't be able to skip because we'll have to run around and look for them, right? So now I have three. Everybody should have at least three. And here's the fourth one up here. So now I have four. And I think there might be one more. I think there was five in this first area. I don't oh, remember. I I'm just looking to see if I see any more wisps. Let me know if you guys see one. Stop moving! <laughs> they run away from you. Yeah. Okay, got a four. Nowhere. 
You say there should be five? No, no, I, yeah, I don't remember. I've only I've only done this one other time. Because we, 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 we were never able to figure out how many wisps we actually needed. That that we did have to look up. So the last time we came in here, we finally counted them and did them right. Hey, wait a minute. I looked it up yes. while you guys were <laughs> Drager looking. actually looked it up for us. So technically, I, I, my statement about never looking anything up still stands. <laughs> <laughs> That counts. Yeah, because he didn't look it up. I did while I was <laughs> listening to their stream. Yeah, so it looks like there might it might just be the four out here. I'm sure I'll see another one. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't see another one anywhere either. So this is the first boss when we go through here, this door. Uh, same thing. So this boss has like like the trash fights that we had. They're salamanders, and uh, I'm pretty sure we have to kill the salamanders as soon as they uh they spawn. You have to listen to the game. You'll hear. The NPC mentioned salamanders. When you hear the NPC mentioning salamanders, that means the salamanders are coming out of the fire grates um, along the wall because uh, they will empower the boss. I'll try to keep the boss away, but there isn't a lot of real estate in this. We're surrounded by walls. Yeah, so Drager and I will need to burn the salamanders as quick as we can. See, so, so if you look to the left and the right, you see the sewer grates. The salamanders will come out of one of those. Um, I do believe that as we're looking at him in the first phase, they come out the right hand side. At least that's what it seemed like it was. I don't know if it's actually set that way or not. So I'll, I'll start with tanking him in that far left hand corner um, on the side where he's standing, but on the left. And I'll try and hold him there. And if the salamanders come out of, depending on which side, I'll run him to the other side. Okay. All right. Oh! Give me a second, guys. Did he spill his drink? Bets? I, uh, that's what it sounded like. If you uh, spilled your beer, that's definitely the highest priority. Yeah, I mean, if there's liquid anywhere near your computer, drop everything. <laughs> Stop no, it's, it. a, it's a sin to waste beers. Oh, I see. As a waste they pay <laughs> your priorities. <laughs> yeah, you're Australian. You should know that. I don't really like beer that much. I mean, I'll drink it, but I prefer bourbon or something like that. Yeah. I mean, yeah, he is big, huge, but you can take him. Okay. The half elf says that. Uh, Sorry, I didn't mute my mic either. My kids are have been really bad with spilling drinks these last couple of days. Oh yeah, we were we were debating if that's <laughs> what had happened. Yeah. Yes. So, um, all right, uh, I'm ready to uh, pull this now. Got the right gear set no, on. I don't. I'm not. I don't. Good call. Thank you. Yeah. What's her name? <laughs> says that this guy should be easy. I guess we'll have to remind you of that. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't seem too hard from, from what I understood. Um, it might just be like a DPS thing, right? Like, we don't really have to worry about the cell matters if you kill him fast enough. So, but we'll, we'll see how, how this goes. I'm pulling him. I'll try to not stand in garbage, too, so that you're not doing unnecessarily heal unnecessary healing salamander here comes salamanders uh, she says there's no shortage of salamanders yep oh who killed me the uh, salamander <laughs> lack, of hit, lack of hit points yeah, blazing salamander and some kind of fiery token there seems to be some kind of flame stuff that was shooting me as well. Yeah, so I'm yeah, wondering, I'm wondering the, the what the fiery totem. Oh, the staff. Yes, yes. You guys got to kill the staff. I forgot about the staff. Oh, look, there's, there's a wisp a, right here. There's a wisp. Yeah. yeah, there's a wisp here too. So yeah, there's a staff. Um, now I don't know what prior what's priority. Then now I'm wondering if maybe I stop DPSing the boss and grab a salamander because it looks like the salamander. What killed you? 
Oh, BC, was it the salamander or was it the staff? No, it was the staff that killed okay. me. Yeah, okay, the so the staff, focus... The staff was killing me and then the salamander just finished it. Yeah, so so yeah. focus on the staff. I'll call it out. Um, it, it, it pops up in random places. Uh... Yeah, I'll try and do my best to call out what direction it's in because I'm facing the opposite direction of you guys. But uh, meal if I knew I'd wait around this long. yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna say I'm gonna say okay, so so the side that the boss is on right now, I'm just gonna call that the top, right? So if I say top corner or top, then just look on that side for the uh, or front, right? I'll call it front, and then if I say back, then I'm talking about back here where we're standing, okay? So that, so that you guys have a general idea of because I can see the whole area that way I can tell you where the staff is and you know which direction to look to find the staff and shoot it. Red. Yeah. Sounds good. This on veteran mode. Yes. Burn the staff. Do not let the salamanders get anywhere near the boss or he hits twice as hard. Right. Right. We we fi yeah we figured that but it was the staff that got us. So I know I've been talking to you in chat but you're not listening. Oh yeah I'm not. Oh I'm yeah, yeah you're right. Guys. All right, bye. Sorry, sorry to disturb you guys. No, you're fine, man. You're oh, fine. you're fine. No, thank you for the advice. It's appreciated. You're fine. All right, so same thing. So like I said, I'll pull him, and I'll try and uh, do my best to tell you guys what side it's on. Yeah, just going to give you the direction. Staff is right next to him. Right next to him. Oh. Good job, guys. Good job. Salamander's up, too. is up right next to him. I know the salamander's up too. I'm trying to keep him over here. And now the totem's up too. Oh yeah, that totem's gonna hurt us. Alright, uh, just uh, wipe it. Yeah, sorry, it was hard to with the salamander. Yeah, no, up. Man, no worries. It, it interrupted me. So, yeah, I, I didn't want to taunt him because then, right, it's the purpose of keeping them separated. Oh, and there's a wisp. Oh. There's a bunch of them. There's two, yeah. Not gonna go try to get the one by the boss. <laughs> yeah, they'll be there when we're done, too. Dude, do you guys think we need to make any adjustments, or was it just uh, uh, avoiding stuff? Yeah, it's just learning to... it and avoiding okay. the stuff. Okay, fair enough. I need to not dodge roll into the other flames. Alright, I'm gonna pull him in there. I don't think this Minotaur will negotiate. <laughs> he didn't come. <laughs> I don't think I was actually targeting him when I taunted. <laughs> It's, uh, hold on to the guess. Salamander's up here. I can't dodge. That's weird. Salamander's after me. Oh, 
Hold on, son. Or I guess this is a good one. Don't forget to finish off that totem, guys. It's almost dead. Oh, I'm dead. He hit me with a fiery blast for 47,000 damage. And the, yeah, and I think the, the salamander maybe was there a salamander too close? Because I killed the totem that was over here. The the, the totem had already put. Uh, about yeah, and 10, the salamander. 000. The salamander came out just as we were killing the totem. Yeah, the yeah. Let's see. The, the 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 totem had already hurt me. So combined with the fiery blast, it was because combined that was fifty seven thousand damage. Yeah, not possible to survive that. Yeah. Probably could have survived the 47, but not the 50. I gotta get rid of my pet. That was a lot better, though, that time. Why couldn't I dodge? I'm gonna figure that out. Oh, okay. hit the wrong button. That will do it. I know that massive muscle looks mean, but I bet you face tougher. I wish we had Minotaur killing arrows. <laughs> Everybody ready? <laughs> Up, right by him. Another is coming. Yeah, he starts glowing when the salamander gets in his range and I don't remember him blowing that last time around either, so I don't think it was the salamander got close enough to him. It was just a combination of the totem and his uh, hard hit, I think. Salamander's up, by the way. Totem's up, I'm moving him next to the totem. Maybe not. He doesn't really move. Oh shit, he's right by that. I can't get him. The salamander came right out of the... Salamander came right out of where I was tanking him. He hit me for 130,000 damage. Ooh. All right, so maybe, maybe I gotta hold him by the door in the middle. Not in a corner. Yeah. That was that was that had to just be bad bad luck, right? That he came out where I was tanking him. Oh yeah, I tried to block him because he was he was after me and uh, he hit me. <laughs> yeah, he uh, hit me for hundred and thirty thousand damage. So yeah, I'll 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 try and keep him where he's standing. Oh, you know what? I wonder if that's why that. So actually, you know what? Let's try something different. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tank him in the corner. No, actually, I am going to tank him where he's standing. But I'm gonna, I'm probably going to stand a little between the pedestal and him. Because that pedestal, when I activate it, it gives me like an armor. Um, and I wonder if I'm supposed to do that. It, um, it use that when if, if he gets a, a salamander. That would make sense. Yep. Okay, so we'll try that. Oh, yeah, I'm going to try and keep him where he's standing. All right, going in. Totems up to the side of him. 
and the salamander in the opposite corner. Salamander's up, uh, Totem's also up, uh, same side, opposite corners. I'm trying to move in a little bit. Sorry. Heal yourself, Traeger, heal yourself. Potion something. And not quick enough. Two Salamanders. And he got one of the Salamanders, by the way. Oh, he froze. Whatever we did made him freeze. Oh, I hit him with the... Couldn't kill the totem quick enough. If we keep getting each other up, we get a shot. All right. Oh yeah, I, I, I just couldn't, I couldn't take his um, added damage anymore. That last hit hit me for 180,000 damage. Oh. We were doing it though. Uh, so, so, so when I hit him with that, um, when, when I picked up that frost armor, uh, he actually froze when he touched me. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Yeah, he 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 like he encased in ice and froze for uh, uh, a bit. So we could definitely use that to. Yeah, buy I time. see it. If you if you stand on that thing, then yeah, he'll. If, even though even though I clicked it, did it go away? Were you guys? Did you guys notice if it was still shining? I was, I, yeah, was I was able there. to click it again. I, I checked it. Okay. For science. So and, so we could use I... it multiple times then. Yep. Okay. Maybe, maybe I should do that on Salamander, uh, which calls a Salamander, go click that each time. I don't know when else would be the right timing for that. Well, anytime a Salamander is up. So yeah, I would think a Salamander, right? Anytime a Salamander is up. So keep him tanked in the middle like I did. And then uh, go click that and run back because I, I, I don't know... Well, we'll find out. I don't know if it was just RNG that froze him, like him hitting me or what, because I didn't have a new ability or anything like that. So, all right. We'll yeah. It could be that you clicked it when he was in range. Yeah, I, and well, no, no. I, I, he was on the complete opposite side, and it was much later. I think he just hit me. Okay. It's not growing, by the way, for me anymore. Maybe it's just bugging. Maybe you use it every time. Well, well, it's a whole new session, so. Yeah, fuck. Uh, totems up, guys. This salamander should be good shortly. Yeah, even though it wasn't bugging, oh, I was still able to pull it. Salamander's behind me. There he goes, he's frozen. Oh, everything's frozen. Nice. Kill that dang salamander. The other salamander's out, by the way. I couldn't click it for a second time, by the way. DP's dead. Yeah, well, the totem was out, too. Mimic flame. Oh, we, we might have to time those then.
Yeah, yeah we, I may as well just die. Um, because with all of you down, I just can't. Yeah, we, if, but, if there's two of us still up, we can one can res while the other one's getting chased around. But we we might have to um take turns on those BC because I definitely was only able maybe. to click it once. That's definitely possible. So what's the what's the strategy then? You press it when the salamander comes out. Yeah, it's you, you activate it the same way you activate the wisps. So uh, yeah, with X, yeah. Yeah, and then, and then but you also it's like a synergy, right? Once you have that effect, um, it's like it's like the like the last boss in Maelstrom Arena. You you know how how when you collect the golden ghosts, how you could activate what they give you by pressing uh. I guess it's your synergy button. I use a gamepad, so for me it's Y and B. But I'm assuming it's your synergy button. It's it's the same button. So do you press it once when you're standing on it, and then it gives you the ability to press it again? Correct. Correct. Okay. So, so I press X on it, and then I run to the salamander and press X again. No. I, yeah. Actually, you don't even have to run to the salamander. I think you just because I I was standing on the minotaur and everything froze. Yeah. When it I, seemed when like I it was an AOE. Okay. Yeah. Everything froze when I activated it. Okay, so we can just call it out like Red, you'll do it the first time, I'll do it the second time, Greg, the third time, deep, you know, etc. like that. Correct, yeah, because it freezes everything and that'll buy us time. Uh, it looks like we still have to focus on the on that totem, guys. That, that, that totem is kicking our ass, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I get it down every time, but I think the, the challenge has been it, like it'll... It'll kill Drago, for example, and then you know, then we're one down, and then it gets harder. So yeah, yeah we no, no, no have that, to burn it. Yeah, knowing that everything's frozen too, um, I I could get off of what I'm doing and go focus on what we have to burn down as well, because nothing, everything was frozen. I didn't have to worry about anything. So that that way we have a combined DPS, right? To burn stuff down. Yep. Um, yeah. It, it depending on 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 health levels too. DP, you might want to, when everything's frozen, DPS stuff too. Remember, totems, priority, salamander, then boss. If you guys are all at full health, I'd, I'd yeah, you you you, you you make that judgment. I'm not going to tell you what you should or shouldn't be doing. <laughs> you make that judgment. My DPS is pitiful, though. Yeah, it, it, yeah but yeah. I, I think, I mean, my DPS is 2,600, you know, 7%. So, I mean, but I, I think um everything you know will just add up and we could use it all mine was 950 that last fight all right um i'm gonna pull up. Totems up to your left. Oh, salamanders up too. I'm gonna freeze everything. I'm freezing everything. Everything should be frozen. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. All right, so um, whoever's next should probably go stand near that so they don't have to. Yeah, run I'm standing more. near it. Yeah. Salamander's up, go ahead. Good. Two salamanders are up, but we should have got the other one down already. Totem's up also. Somebody maybe click on the free stuff. Yeah, he runs away every time on that base. All right, he's frozen. Oh, we probably shouldn't have done it yet. The salamander wasn't up. Uh, twenty-six percent focus on him. Down that salamander, guys. There's two of them. 
we should have one more freezing if someone could do it who hasn't done it yet. Be deep. Yeah, we had bad timing on that. It's DPS, everybody. Get the troll. It's alright, he's dead. Sweet. Sweet. Perfect. Ooh. We got an achievement for that too, by the way. I don't know what we did to get an achievement. Something with the with the salamanders. Nice. Um, I see four total in here, so we should be at nine wisps. Yeah, I'd already gotten like one or two, and I just got three more, so I think I, so I, think I have them all. Yeah, so once we realize the freezing mechanic, that fight gets a lot easier. It was super easy, huh? <laughs> so, so that's good to know, right? Because those things are throughout this entire dungeon, and obviously in normal mode, you never have to actually use them. Yeah, that freeze really made the difference. Each of us can only do it once, so is that all? Oh, no, it, it looked like it might be on a timed interval. So, like, does it, like I have a cooldown for it. That's why I couldn't do it the second time, because I was probably still on cooldown for it. So there's another wish wish. over here. If you see it glowing, you can... It's a, it's a little bugged because remember when I mentioned on that last round that um, it wasn't glowing? I was still able to click it that last round. But okay. even though it wasn't glowing, um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I've... So that's 10. Yeah, I have 10 as well. I'm just going to run around and see if I see any more anywhere because that one was obviously all the way in the corner. Look for chest boss, while you, right? yeah, that was the first boss. Um, well, we did a secret boss as well. Um, look for chests too while you're running around. Are we going to have time? Uh, it's, it's, it's half, half our time is already used, and we only have well, one boss. I, I'm not going to quit. So I mean, if we run out of time, we run out of time, and we'll just stop. So done this trap door? Yeah, uh, for the for the next uh, part of of the dungeon. Could I have a quick bio break here? Yep. I'm gonna. I need to bio. <laughs> I'll be right back. progression i don't expect to do it in 10 minutes yeah um the in the secret bosses is a fun bit of a different thing yeah we can also in in future weeks if we want to like make sure to clear the dungeon one night we could also just focus on the main bosses and clear that and then do the secret bosses some other time too yep but tonight's just about exploration How, did you say you did it with the wednesday group last week yeah we did um it, normal mode, but yeah, we did the um, the secret bosses have the have the if you do all the secret bosses, you also uh, you get a memento. There's a memento that uh, that does like the whole frozen thing turns into like a frozen sentinel, but it's oh, uh, cool. it's a chance of getting it. So in normal mode, you uh, he drops one chest and uh, the secret boss right the 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 loot chest he'll drop one loot chest, and I. I don't remember exact what the exact number was, but let's just say it's like 20% chance. Uh, and in uh, veteran mode, he drops two chests, so you double your chances. Not everybody's guaranteed to get that item. Got it. Yeah, it's um, it's fun to fun to do that a bit just to learn mechanics and work our way through it.
Oh, you know how I can see how many fragments I have read? How? It has it on uh, combat metrics. Oh, that's cool. So it's old. Like, I need to wait to the next fight that I do. But when we fought Kinras, I had six. So I now have, I don't know, ten or something. Okay. So, but yeah, I'm just looking back at the last fight, and uh, and the very first buff it's got up there is six times fragments. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd have to think that your that your add-on is removing it as a buff because I think I think so. Yeah, yeah. This, I don't want to fiddle with it too much because it might, might mess up my UI. So. <laughs> I, yeah. But yeah, that's uh, it's helpful to to know that. Yeah, I just looked. I see that too on mine. Yeah, this is good, uh, good practice. And I'm gonna see about bringing the Wednesday group through here as well. On veteran. How did you know the secret of that first fight? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it should be a lot, a lot smoother. But that'll be good too because then that'll help with the progression. If there's one or two people who are in both groups, then you know that each group benefits from. What the others we're doing. Um, I'm just gonna go say, you know, check in with my wife for a minute while we're waiting for DP. Fair enough. Sick. I'm gonna go fill up water. I'm back. I'll just stand down here so I know when everybody's back. Um, I wish you could uh, create one of the spiders for every time you found all the components. <laughs> I'd have an I'd have an army of spiders. At oh, this point. Geez, geez. yes. <laughs> I've, I've literally I I started at the very start. I put some of them up like different parts on the, um, you know, in the on one of the guild traders. And after I did that for like a few of them, I realized oh this is ridiculous. <laughs> so I stopped putting them up and I started putting them in the guild bank. And then, yeah. like, a few days later, I stopped even bothering doing that, and I just destroyed them now. Because <laughs> there's literally just so many of them. Everyone's, there's, like, so many in the guild bank. No one can ever, like, we'll never have enough guild members. To yeah, <laughs> yeah I know. I, I, I did that, too, there for a while. I was, like, putting them in the guild bank, and then I look how many's in there, and I'm like, yeah, we don't need this many. Kenny's going to go nuts. Yeah, that one's definitely not a difficult one to acquire. 
I really need a I like that they like that they made it easy, but a little too easy. <laughs> back. Well, I'll go back. All right. Uh, all right, here we go through the grind. Just keep an eye out for wisps again, and we will uh, proceed to do this stuff to unlock the next secret boss. This one's fun. By the way, which which dungeon are we in? This is Black Drake Villa. This is a dungeon that came out with elsewhere. No. Uh, Sounds like Greymore. Black, Blackwood. Yeah. Greymore, I think. So probably probably Blackwood with. Uh, no, no, with yeah, that, the it's it's Archie. not Blackwood. Yeah, that was my thought too. I think it's I think it's 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 not Blackwood. I know that. I originally thought it was Blackwood too because of the name. Oh. But it's it's got that you know obvious NPC from Blackwood. Maybe this is where they introduced it. No, what have they done? They burned the entire this way. library. They burned the library, oh, she says. All those stories just oh. We should split up the line before, before this whole place turns to ash. So, I thought he was dead. Okay, this is the one where these ghosts just keep on coming out. All right, so so you see these glowing orbs to unlock the next uh, uh, secret boss. We have to light up these two that don't have lights. So. We do that by going up here and looks uh, like there's also a chest up here oh uh, where i'll show you once we kill stuff uh, there's nothing else to kill so uh let's go and go grab your okay chest. i will go to the chest it's over here oh yeah, i see it okay so so uh, after he's done opening this chest two people will stay on this side and then two and then the other person will go with me to the other side the, each side is identical, by the way. So what you guys got to do is the two people that stay here need to open, need to pull these levers that are right here. Uh, I'm not sure if you have to pull them at the same time, but I've, we always have. So two people stay here, and then the person not doing that come with me to the other side, and we'll do the same thing on the other side. Uh, and then what will happen is you see where I'm standing when you pull those levers? This, this gate right here will open up. You two people that stayed here will need to go up the stairs... There's, um, it's going to take you up to this second level that you can see from right here. And on one end of the second level, there's going to be a pressure plate. And on the other end, there's going to be a pressure plate. Each person needs to stand on a pressure plate. Uh, one of the gates up there will open and it'll give you access to the glowing light. You just go on there and use your synergy button to grab the light and you bring it down and put it in the empty cauldron. We could, we could go over it again when we get to that stage, but you guys can go in and do that. We don't need to do it all at the same time. You guys go ahead and do your side while BC and I do the other side. Ready, BC? Three, two, one. I was a little late on that. Let's see if it opened. No, we have to do it again. I was a little late pulling that. I, I accidentally had the uh, the bookcase focused. Three, two, one. There it goes. All right, so. Yeah, I didn't have to pull a lever the second time. Uh. So yeah, there's a pressure plate right there by the fire. If you stand on that one, I'll stand on the other one over here by the other fire. And when we stand on it, it's gonna light up the globe over here. You wanna come over here and grab this globe? I'll let you do it since I've done it before. I fell. But you see the globe that's lit up up there where I was standing? Go ahead and grab that light. And then bring it down and pop it into the, the globe down here that needs a light. Okay, so I'm standing on the pressure plate up, yeah, so, up here. So you have two pressure plates up there, uh, Drager. So one, well, you need to stand on one, and DP needs to stand on the other, because DP's still down here hanging out. 
Yeah, I know. I see him. <laughs> DP, you need to go up the stairs with Drager up there. Oh, over here. Gates. Over here. Through, through the yeah, gate. Over good. over this way. Go through the gate. Go upstairs. And then on the... You guys were doing that. We each had to do it on, on each side. You guys had it on your side and we had it on our side. So okay. keep going through. And then on the complete opposite side over here, you'll see a pressure plate near those books that are on fire. Yeah, right there. Yeah, when you stand on them, now this globe is going to light up. See the globe? Go ahead and walk over to the globe and pick up the light. I see the light. There you go. Now now just drop down. To me down here. And then let's go back down to where we were when we killed the ads. And you will drop your light into this globe. And the floor is going to open up in the middle, so don't stand in the middle, but drop your globe over here. You'll have to press X or something. Yeah, face, face, face the globe, and the same way you picked it up, that's the way you'll drop it in. There you go. Now we just drop down here, and this is the entrance to the second to the second secret boss. It's a glowing sketch, you know. So, so that that mechanic that we just did, that's how we open up the last secret boss. So the idea is we collect um, thirty wisps each, and then we transfer our wisps to the to the final cauldron thingies, and it'll summon the last boss. Is that just the last boss or a secret it's, boss? It's the last secret boss. In other words, you could do this without picking up all. Yeah, the we could do it without any of these bosses. But okay. if if you kill all the secret bosses, you have a chance of getting a special memento. Okay. I like my memento. Which is a nice little collectible. Well, maybe I should just try blocking that. I can even dodge out of that. That circle followed me. Nice. That boss was easy. That was a lot easier than the than the stag. Yeah. Okay, so once again, look out for wisps, right? I see two. I didn't look for any wisps in that in that last area that we were in. Yeah, I didn't see any. My Olsen is a wisp. I have twelve. So I had ten um, during that fight, and I just picked up two, so okay. I should have twelve now as well. Awesome. All right, so let's. If you if you have twelve, go in and pop back up. If not, then you need to find. I'm just gonna run around real fast, make sure we didn't miss any wisps, because I, like I said, I wasn't looking. We're probably not gonna have enough time to finish it anyways. But at least you guys have a general idea, so that we can try it again. Plus, yeah, plus, I mean, it'll get, it'll get we, quicker next time. Yeah, I'll say we, we shouldn't wipe as many times as we did the next time. I could uh, go a little bit over. It's it's no worries, because we honestly, it, we're like, we still have at least two more bosses, I think. And, and, two, and two more secret bosses. Yeah, it's, I mean, this is progression. We, we do it, and we kind of learn the dance, and then it gets quicker, and then yep. we clear it. And, and we're doing, you know, not three or three bosses. We're doing like, you know, seven or something. I came around the wrong side, but they're here, guys. It's a boy thing back here. Yeah, I, just, I ran around the long way and also didn't switch builds, so this charge might be a little tougher. I apologize. Did someone use one of those frozen things? Everything froze. Yeah, I did. I was grumpy with them, so...
These ghosts, I don't think those ghosts are really hauntable. They always just kind of run right by me. really cool. It had a stump the, the first time we came through here. Uh, I'll, I'll show you why and explain why when we get there. Anyway, I think this is a really interesting dungeon, so I wouldn't mind doing it again. Yeah, I, I figured you guys would like it. That's why it was when yeah. when uh, BC suggested we do something different. I was like, oh, I know what we, could, we should do. Said he's after the book. We need to find it before uh, he does. Let me switch. Yes. Okay. Should do this on MFN. Yeah, um, all of the newer dungeons that have like secret stuff like this are pretty cool. I I really like how they yeah. did that. The new dungeons are cool too. They have similar similar secret bosses. They were cool. I think I've done all the new ball new dungeons. I'm not sure. I'm look, looking forward to the new trial. Alright, so there's a stairway back here. Oh, wait, there might be wisps. Wisp. Right? Good call. Where's the wisp? I don't see it. I, didn't, I haven't picked it up. You guys have 13 now? I can't read the number. I had 12 13. before that fight, now, so and I got one, so yep, 13. Yep, 13 again. Okay, yeah, me too. Just... Alright. Okay. I think it's probably not going to really matter much, anyways, but. It's it's good to train ourselves it's to good. keep an eye for them. Yeah, um, but it'll also oh, no, be a good check for for next time when we're rushing through a bit faster, just to remember like how many we had before the different bosses. So. All right, so that that's fourteen. I just picked up one more, and there's one more floating around up there after we kill these ads. Yeah, you can see them through the walls. I've noticed. <laughs> I interrupted that guy and he was at my back. I think it, uh, uh, like I had turned around, but I think the, the mechanic had, you know, had me stuck facing the other way. So I still interrupted him, though, even though I wasn't facing him. <laughs> There's the wisp. Uh, yeah, so yeah, grab the other wisp. That puts us at 16? 15, Wait, 15, yeah. Hey, stop moving around. Okay, so 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 this one, there's a lore book right here too, by the way, guys. It's an actual lore book. Sitting on this table. Um, so, um, and a heavy... Oh, I thought this was a heavy sack. Never mind. It's a sack, but not a heavy sack. Um, okay, so so th this one had us confused because there's only a mechanic. There for is a people. heavy sack back here. Was there a heavy sack back here? Oh, there was. I missed it. Sweet. I see jelly. special plates up the top again. Yeah, there is, but it's only for two people. So that, that's what had us confused. That's like because everything's been four, right? So two people, one person stands on each lever right here. And pulls the lever. This gate will open. Got it. I've got this one. Oh. Go for it, Trigger. All right, but we all need to come up. So there's a mechanic up here for four people. So two people um, to each side. All right, I'll go with Trigger. I got it. Oh, okay. I'll go with DP. 
So, um, okay, so this one, one person needs to stand on the pressure plate, which, uh, DP is down there. Go ahead and it's down there. You want to go stand on the... Jump. Oh, I see. Do yeah, no, 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 not, not down. Sorry, I, I, I didn't mean down. I, I said down, I'm sorry. I, I, I meant, like, down the hall right here. Oh, yeah, so you want to come back up. So 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 while while one person is standing on the pressure plate, the other person, BC, if you turn around, see the runes on the wall? You need to use the runes on the wall to move your statue. Your statue is the white one, right? Uh, it'll move your statue, and you need to move it onto the glowing plate down and below. Uh, I see it, yep. And so their directions, yep, yep. got it. Uh, actually, yours is the gold one, I think. It's backwards. Yeah, yours is the gold one. Success. There we go. So now that should have opened up a hole in the wall down here. Yeah, if you I, all drop back down. A gate opened up here with a globe. Do I grab that? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Yes, yes. I'm sorry, guys. You have to bring down that, uh, Drager, bring down the light and then, yeah. And then you drop down here and it'll, it'll open up this bookcase right here. That's behind me. Over here, TP. Right here. There you go. There we go. And the other boss should be done. There. Yeah, these are cool. They definitely made them interesting. Yeah, I like them. I like the mechanism. It's, it's not trivial, but it's not too hard to. So it's, it's kind of fun. This one should be an ice atronach, and this is the last. Uh, so so this is. The last regular secret boss. Here's a chest. Let's open the chest. The reason why I say that is because the other, the actual final secret boss, is only summoned after we kill the the main boss. So this will be the last secret boss that we get to before fighting the main boss. Did you need a restoration stuff of Drake's Rush? No, it was you wanted the lightning and the frost, right? Yeah. Did you get the resto? Yeah, I got the resto. That's so crazy. I'll, no, yeah. I'll, 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 I'll bind that, and that way, when we get to the final boss, I'll have a chance to get better chance to get the frost light. Fair enough. That's crazy. Any trick for this boss? Uh, yeah, I don't know. The, I don't know what he does special. I've only ever fought him in normal mode, so. going down pretty fast. Yeah, we're really just killing them for the buff that they give us, right? So that we have um, increased power when we do fight the final boss. Okay. I don't know if you've noticed that, right? Each, each mini boss we've killed has given us a buff. Oh, yeah, been noticed. oh wow, that health increase, increase is like 5,000. That's pretty significant. Oh, yeah. Never had so much. A wisp over here. Okay, yeah, I found two. There's, there's one back. Awesome. And then one near the portal. Where's the other one? Oh, there he is. So I'm at 17. I'm at 17. Same. Awesome. We might actually have enough time if we don't have issues. Well, we can maybe finish the, the regular boss, at least. Yeah, I'm trying to think, because the next guy is like in a big um, circular area. Yeah, and then there's one and more then, boss after that. that yeah, that guy's, and then that I guy's think he's the... not that... He's not much further along, yeah. I think, the final boss after this Yeah, guy. so this guy's a mini boss, right? After we kill him, then, then it's the final boss, and then the last secret boss after that. But it I see depends. another freezing platform. Yeah, we have to get enough um, wisps, right? I haven't. We, we, we might have missed wisps somewhere. But we'll see. Uh, you actually get wisps during the final boss fight, by the way. So I, we're going to go in with not enough wisps. I expect that. I think, I think we get like seven wisps during that five or five. Something around there. All right. Um, so this, this boss... 
um, if I remember correctly, she's gonna pull ads, or she's gonna sp or, um, spawn ads that are shooting projectiles, and uh, and she's also gonna spawn like fi those fire dogs that we've been seeing. So what I'll do is I'm gonna try and pull her by the ads that are there's gonna be ads circling us, so that we could burn her down while we're burning the ads. So I'll try and just control. I'll try to control everything. Okay. And then uh, should, if we if we're starting to get overwhelmed, should we? like use this uh freezing thing yeah i would say i would definitely say let's use it it's there um i i don't i don't know yeah i don't i don't know what what our issues were like she's gonna she's gonna spawn a bone goliath and um i don't know if he does special things because we've always killed him fast right so uh it, it might be one of those things where where we want to freeze things when he's up because i think there's a possibility that he'll be up and two dogs at the same time and that's probably yeah. where we want to freeze stuff so um but since we all have it, I, I'd say definitely if if we feel like it's getting hairy, just use it if you if you're near it. Sounds good. Yeah, maybe just we can just call it out, like I'm gonna freeze. I didn't mean to do that, but yeah, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Let, let's pull it in and then see what happens, right? Yeah, see, these are the, the little ads I was talking about. So I'll try and pull her to these ones. Yep, perfect. Those are the little ones. Those are the ones that, that, that I didn't expect much from, but they shoot projectiles. So, yeah, so this is where she's going to pull the big ad. So she's, she's invulnerable now. Focus on all the other ads. I pulled him. He should be coming to me. She's invulnerable, so don't even focus on her. The dogs are probably going to come up soon, I think. Oh. Yeah, so there's the dogs. Well, let's see out of her big AoE. That was a bad one. Okay. Oh. Yeah, stay out of that big AOE. Right, she's pulling she's calling up dogs again. She's invulnerable, focus on the ads. I got them all. Stay out of the fire, she's shooting out of the floor. Okay. There's another bone ad. Trying to pick him up. I think I got all the ads. Let me know if I if something's pounding on you. Yeah, that was a good time for that. There's a lot going on. She's still invulnerable, though. I think she's invulnerable until we're done killing the ads. I just like doing that. <laughs> yep, there she is. She's back up. I'm pulling her. I'm actually gonna drag her back to the archer in the back. Oh, okay, that works too. Trying to grab all the dogs. I can't do anything when she does that bigger AOE and she's right on top of it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You just have to run uh, out of it. She does a cone also. <laughs> She's almost dead, guys. Just burn her. Fill it for uh, some time. Perfect. Oh, wow. She killed me as I killed her. <laughs> <laughs>
Nice. Whisk. Two of them. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it, that um, Three, there was definitely there was definitely more going on in that fight even than the first fight. But yeah. because we knew the mechanic with the freezing, we we got it in one. Yeah, the freezing is a huge boost. So I got twenty two now. Hey, is there what five there? Uh, there might have been six. I don't remember when we came in with 17, 22, yeah, five. I, I have 21, so I'm missing one. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I had 17 before the yeah, five. Yeah, so there's definitely just five. Up five yeah. yeah. Okay, 22. Awesome. Yeah, and, and then like I said, so so the, we're, we'll find, I think, one or two out here in this uh, trash area. And then, and then the rest that we're missing will get actually during the final fight. So we need to prolong that fight long enough so that we all get a wisp. Because they don't all come out at the same time. They come out during the fight. I remember that much of it. Now, my suggestion for this, so we get some, some time with the final boss, would be um, if we can avoid some of the ad pools. It looks like we can't avoid the one just here. But then I know the way around, at least in normal, a bunch of ad pools. So if we don't need them for the secret boss, then we can skip them. Yeah, I would say just um, sure. I don't, I, I don't, I don't know how many. Um, I don't remember how many wisps we actually get during that fight. So yes, so so just keep an eye out. So like, there's a wisp right there, right? That just flew by. So yeah, so yes, if if you don't see a wisp down where, where you know we're avoiding ads, then yeah, let's go for it. But 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 we're we're right here anyways. This is the. Uh, there's a chest just here. The last boss is just at the top of the stairs, so. Ah, come back here. I hate all these guys move away. Just um, when I get to them. Please. Yeah, so tell me which way we're supposed to go, BC. Well, it, if we if we want to fight these guys, we can we can do it. But um, there's a chest just here, so for starters, I'm I'm jumping, so may as well come get this. So so you guys see this water geyser right here? Keep an eye out for this mechanic, right? Because this this mechanic right here, where it shoots you up, there's a I think there's a wisp up there, anyways. Uh, is something you'll need for the boss. They engage red behind. Yeah, there's a wisp up here, so follow me. Oh, they engaged. Yeah, we, we need to go through, because there's a wisp up there anyways. I'm still down here fighting, guys. I got him. I need healing! Save me! Except for that one back there. Now I got him. Yeah, so... We need to uh, use this. There's a wisp right here. There's a, there's a chest back here if you... Yeah, I don't care oh, about the chest. Somebody, I guess somebody I should loot it just because I could probably get the staff I'm looking for in there. I'm trying to get us through it. I mean, we have 30 minutes. I don't think we need, we have we should have plenty of time as long as we're not you know having issues wiping. Well, 25, 25 minutes, but... Oh, yep, one wisp here. Yeah, so I got to grab that. I'm going to go grab that chest real quick, because... Like I said, it could have what I'm looking for, right? Got yeah, I got, I got the resto stuff in, in a previous one, so... Sword. I've got 20... 24 wisps. Yeah, same here. All right, so I'm coming back to you guys. Yeah, so just keep an eye out for wisps, right? Uh, but I don't think there's... Did you guys see one back there? I don't... There was just one down the bottom, which I think we all got. Yeah. <laughs> These fools aren't so tough. I think there was one more on, up here, if I remember. Just over the hill. 
I don't see anything. So, so where was there some some secret way to avoid this trash? Oh yeah, but it's fine. We just kill it all. All right, there, there's a wisp up, up there, by the way, up where we're heading. Yeah. So let's kill these guys and. Ghosts. They don't. The chains. Nothing works on them. They just go right by me. I'm assuming because they're ghosts, right? My attack just goes right through them. Never seen that before, but see, there's a wisp floating around up there. You guys see it? We got to make sure we go around yeah. and grab yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. We're up on top. Of it. Yeah, it's to the left once we come up these stairs, but let's kill these guys. Dude, the ghost shoots it off again. Yeah, once they'd uh, once they'd run a killed you, Red. There was no way I could survive <laughs> that. Do, I tried right? to join. We can right. freeze them. We we kill we kill mostly everything. There's only two guys left. Only two guys left. Yeah, just use the freezing on them. Yeah. Or right, let's just kill them. <laughs> if you want to freeze them, freeze them. Pull in them. Oh, we're in a hurry. <laughs> we're freezing the Go for it. <laughs> Freeze, you suckers. <laughs> and then we can all use our. Yeah. I forget to use the cow traps, man. I have the cow traps on this uh, bar. What do kill traps do? It it just uh, decreases their defenses so that your your guys' DPS in, improves. Oh okay. I need a more fit though. Yeah. That didn't even so boost me up. I started twenty five. Yeah, I had twenty four before that, and then I just got that one, so I think I have twenty five. Okay. Yeah, I have twenty five. So I didn't notice my number changed, but yeah. All right, so the last fight we're going to be during the boss fight. Yeah, there's nothing back here. All right, so. Hey, it can't hurt to look. Switching back to the boss shield and weapon. All right, so we're going to... Damage him down. I don't really remember what he does in, in this phase, but he's going to break the wall. And in the next phase, uh, he's going to be in a circular arena. There's going to be salamanders down at the bottom of the arena. Don't worry about the salamanders. Uh, there's going to be those geysers that we just saw. Uh, what will happen is we're actually going to fight him on the... It's a two-level arena. We're going to fight him on the top of that arena. Uh, but he's going to do... Um, an effect, an AOE that puts fire everywhere except for a circle directly around him. And when he does that, he's he's actually going to jump to the other side of the arena and do that. We need to drop down, use the guys to jump up to where he is because the only safe place is in melee range. Uh, you, we'll see a little bit of that in, in this phase because he'll do that in this phase too where the only safe place in the entire area is going to be in melee range. So... Remember that mechanic, okay? I'll, I'll go over it as we're doing it as well. Yeah. 
he's gonna have two mechanics. He's gonna have a mechanic where you want to not be in melee range, and then a mechanic where you want to be in melee range. But you'll see the crap on the floor, so you'll know when to do what. Like that one. See, don't be in melee range. I wasn't in melee range. I believe it takes turns. Yep, melee range, guys. Melee range. Sorry, didn't get you up in time, Breaker. All right, now he busts into the wall. Pick up Traeger. You can't hit him right now anyways. He's invulnerable. So let's get Traeger up and then let's get out of here. I'm good job, Traeger. All right, come on. So we got to go through here and... Um... Oh, did you guys see any wisps? Grab the wisps. There's two wisps. Almost ran off. I'm good. I'm good. I'm getting DP. Got me. You guys should have got two wisps, which puts it at 27 now. Yep. All right, so do not drop down yet. We'll just run, run around the circle to him. So keep an eye out up here. Yeah. His Uh, keep an eye out uh, around this arena for whiffs, right? Because I noticed that they just kind of like popped up last time I was here in the circles. Like uh, up, up here on the second level. Oh, actually, I did see one down on the bottom level at one time, too. All right, drop down. Yeah, on the bottom. Use the geyser to pop back up in melee range. And that's what this whole fight is, guys. So there's going to be the same phase where you need to be in in in, in, in range, which is I thought that, I thought he was doing. And then there's the part of the fight where you need to be in melee range, AOE range. All right, get back and get back on it. Okay, drop down. Drop down. Whoops. Melee range. You'll know he's going to do it because as soon as he jumps across the arena, that's when he's going to do it. And there's a wisp up, by the way, guys. Wisp over here. I'm moving him. Could get me up, would be yeah, you're on the other side of us. I'll try and get you. He's gonna jump to that side, by the way. I should probably freeze everything. Drop down. I think I just whacked me. I'm gonna try and freeze everything so we can bring people up. There's another wisp. Got you, Drago. Oh, he killed me. Shit. Well, you yeah, guys see, you guys see the fight, though. You guys see the fight, though, right? Hit me. I'm dead. You may as well just die again, Drago. Because we're all dead. You see, you see the fight at least, right? So you have an idea of, of what yeah. it is? Yeah, I think we, we want to use the freeze, probably. Yeah. When someone's down, freezing is a great idea. Well, okay. Yes, it is a great idea. When when he jumps across, though, you should, you should automatically just drop down and know. 
that, that that's what he's going to do because that's the, he only has those two mechanics. Like, you know, we shouldn't have to wait to see him already spreading fire everywhere. As soon as he jumps across, drop down in expect him he always jumps directly across he doesn't jump to the side or anything like that so so you automatically know so when he drops when he jumps across that you need to get down and run to the other side of where you were standing it should just be automatic yeah you can also look at the swirls uh, of fire when you're down there to find out where to go up again yeah, exactly. So th th that's that's the best way to see where, where he is. But just keep in mind, like I said, it's always the opposite direction of where he was. Yeah, but, but if you get confused, like I do all the time. All right, I'm pulling him. Yeah, and I wouldn't worry about the risk of the, of the fight. Or... We only need two more. But they'll be there when, when he's dead, won't they? True. True. Yeah, they should go away. We just need. I don't know. I don't know if it's a time thing, right? We, uh, if we have to keep them alive long enough to have them actually there, you know what I mean? Yeah, it could be. Because as, as you saw, they didn't. They weren't like all there at the same time. They were. They were. They were popping up as the fight progressed. All right, melee range. Remember, he always uh, brings up that big ad too when he does the melee range stuff, so I'll, I'll do my best to grab both of them. I don't know about those ghosts. I, I tried taunting the ghosts, but they they always seem to just do their own thing. All right, let's go through. Yeah. Unless you see a wisp, of course, go in and grab it in that first spot. I didn't see any, though. No, I think we got the ones in that level. Yeah, I'm running on the side where I see the wisp. I can pick it up on the way. Yeah. Haunting the boss. Uh, stay out of your range. Well, I have 28 west. Me too. I lied. I have 29. Okay, drop down. Drop down. Get out of range or get out of melee. Oh, get out of melee. Uh, pick up DP somebody, please. Don't worry about DPS. We got him. I'll try and grab everything else. I'm getting hit. You got a freeze. Up. Yeah, I mean, I, I, there was no way I could because the okay, ghosts okay, were attacking okay. me. I gotcha. Yeah, and I fell over and couldn't get back up. Oh, you guys all automatically rest when I did that. Oh, right, so we'll pick up trigger. Oh, drop down, drop down, drop down. Drop down. When you did a, did a freeze, you... Uh... Yeah, everybody rest. Let me go back and pick him up, and then we'll we'll oh. try and get uh, trigger afterwards. Well, that makes I'm it up. A lot... Okay, sweet. That makes it, makes it a lot easier if you can rest to do a mass rest. Wait. 
Oh, it reset. Or did it? No, he's at 11%. He at, yeah, he was at 100% for a second there. That's weird. Uh, get out of melee. Out of melee. There, he's dead. Sweet. Yeah. Until the last whisper oh, is on the cool. floor. Cool. I got the Inferno stuff of Drake's Rush. She didn't need that one, right? I'll take it. Um, I'd prefer the Frost. I, I, I forgot about Inferno, that that was an option. Well, let me see what I got. Frost was preferable, but I didn't get any. Uh, yeah, because Frost, you get the shield. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you want to swap swap me whatever you got of the weapons, and, uh, and that I way you I can find. I think I got a shield. Oh, we got a... can turn in the quest here. Don't forget to pick up your... Get pick, the wisp down yeah, below. Pick up, pick up your wisps, guys. Yeah, I got the shield. Boy, she talks a lot. Man, that was, uh, that was wanna, a good job, you wanna, guys. You want to trade me, Red? And... I am doing that. That was a good job, guys. Oh, and uh, we all got the monster helm as well. Yep. That's cool. And, and, um, and the daily endeavor. And, and a, oh, yeah. And, and a and cell, cool. I got a salamander memento, which is not the yeah, memento I, I was talking about. At least I don't think it is. Yeah, I got some sort of furnishing. Uh, mementos. Illusionary salamander stone. Yeah, that's what I got too. That's and that's not the me the memento I was talking about from get from the last boss. Yeah, I know the one you were talking about. Is the one that uh, what was it uh, Malachi, Malachi got? got? Yeah. All right, so let me. Uh, oh yeah, so so now let's do the last boss real quick, right? So the last secret boss. So we got to come. It's back here somewhere. I don't remember if it's this side or. The oh other yeah, side. I got a memento as well. Illusory salamander stone. Yep. Nice. So back here now, everybody needs to click on this uh, plaque back here, this avatar artifact. And you'll transfer your wisps to one of these orbs. Which one do we click on? Uh, no, no, you just click on this plaque back here. You don't have to pick one. It'll automatically transfer off. I do not see. Up the stairs, DP. Oh, up the stairs first. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm the, guessing if we don't have enough wisps, you're not even going to be able to click the plaque. Right. Yeah, that's my theory too, right? Yep, worked for me. Three are full. So DP, once you click the plaque, then so, it should. Yep, it, there we go. Oh, oh cool. there we go. Yes, yeah, so if you turn around, it's going to start snowing. So now it's snowing back here, and we have an ice boss down here in the arena. The right to challenge me. I shall not. It's a fire and ice thing. I don't do, I don't remember. I remember being pretty easy in in normal, but <laughs> so far we haven't really had much issues with anything. You know, outside of that <laughs> first boss. Uh, yeah, I mean the first, and the, and the first glowy boss platform that first is not boss, glowing now. That, that dying, dying is not issues, man. That first boss was the only thing that we had issues with. If 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 you if you don't if you don't agree with that, then we have different opinions on problems. <laughs> Well, when you wipe three times, I think that's a problem. Yeah. That was the first boss. Right. That's what I'm saying. So we, we Outside of the first boss, we haven't had issues. Oh, okay. I didn't hear that part. <laughs> Never mind. It says we've had definitely had worse than this. All right. Let's... I'm just going to drop down and we'll see what happens. It doesn't look like there's a way back up if you drop down. So yeah, the, the whole fight takes place down here. I just like say I don't remember how hard he is. Oh, there's ads, okay. Officially killing the ads is a good idea. And yeah, probably staying out of the garbage. Oh yeah, that's what that's what he does. He summons a version of every secret boss we fought. And I'll just try and pick them all up. That's what he does. Oh yeah. Yeah, so he's going to summon reindeer. the Wraith next, and he'll also summon that last... Oh, almost there. I got it, I got it. 
and they'll be up at the same time. Get out of the big AoE. Oh, and he knocked me back into it. And I'm frozen. And I'm dead. Yeah, he just walks up and one shots. Yeah, so yeah, he just punches you in the so, face so, when so, you get frozen. So on that on that part, he so he does that big old AoE, right? But you can run out of it. But be careful because there's also a small whirlwind floating around, yes. and the whirlwind hit me and knocked me back into the AoE. So, but yeah, there's a way to, to me. yeah, there's a way to avoid too. both of them. Yep, that's exactly what happened to me too. You just got to be behind that whirlwind so you don't See, get now back there's, into it. Now there's things to get up out of here. Yeah. Yeah, they're going to go away when we start the fight. Like I said, you, you got to be behind the whirlwind, right? That way it doesn't knock you back in. The geysers are there in case you want to run away, I think. All right. Yeah, in case you change your mind. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm going to pull it. Kill you. Uh, frostbite. Thirty-five thousand was the big damage. Yeah, I got I got pulled in again. Yeah, me too. And I didn't get frozen, and he just come over and whacked me. Yeah, I, I got out. I thought I got out, and then I got dragged back, and I did not see a whirlwind. Yeah, they go around the outside. I was dead before I that I ran phase, into so. a sewer grate and stood there. Yeah, I think once you get... Oh, once interesting. You get, once he gets the tank down, uh, he just starts one-shotting the rest of us. Yeah. So, tank don't die. Check. <laughs> Alright. I mean, the good, the good thing oh. is... Uh, We've we beat this vet dungeon, so that's awesome. So this is yeah. this is just the icing. All right, pulling him. Test of your limits. Determine your world. Yeah, so I think I think that that uh, AOE he does is like a set radius around him. So so if he's too close to the edge, you're not gonna find an edge on the side that he's closest to the wall. Right, you would have to run to the opposite side. I think it's a set radius around him, and it's almost the exact size of this arena. So if you pull him to the side, it might might be less. Dang. Yeah, he he it killed you, Red, and then he ran after me and killed me. Yeah, fr frostbite yeah. hits me for twenty-seven thousand damage. So anything after that, you know, just kills me. Well, actually, his ravaging blow hit me for sixty-one thousand damage. Yeah, that hurts. That might have been. Yeah, that, that, that might have been my fault, though. I I wasn't. I was talking. Were you, were you, yeah, I, I were you blocking it? You might have. No, no, yeah. I don't. I don't, I don't even know what hit me. So yeah. So that's the same. Might have been my fault. I obviously wasn't paying it, enough attention. Is it interruptible? Maybe. <laughs> Did you hear what I said? <laughs> I you didn't did the right armor see. set. Yeah, I didn't. <laughs> now you're just being you, Traeger. <laughs> I'm just making sure. <laughs> like I said, I don't, I don't yeah. know. I didn't see what actually hit me, so I, I can't say. I have no idea. All, all I can tell you is what it said. It said it was ravaging blow for sixty-one thousand. But that, that was my fault for not paying enough attention. I will uh, pay better attention this time around. Focus, son. Focus. You guys ready? Yep. Okay. I thought you guys were uh, just giving me a hard time. Oh, always giving me a hard time. That's our job. Also, notice that I didn't. Uh, 
Yeah, Ravaging Blow is uh, not interruptible, but it's definitely blockable. I did not see him do it the first time around, though. Okay. And I, I got the stag also. So that's probably... Do you guys want... I, I, don't, I don't know what hits for um, Frostbite, though. I have a circle focus around on, me, so stay away from me, right? Focus on the stag. Yeah, focus so on the stag, guys. Ah. Oh. Alright. Dancing all around here, man. Red, red, red yeah, same here. here. Well, I'm down. I am too now. Yeah, there's... Definitely a mechanism we're missing. Here. Crossbite? I don't know what what does it though. It's the from, it's coming from the Sentinel, which is the main by the main bad guy. So I figured out how to avoid getting pulled in. You're right. You've got to sort of avoid this whirlwind thing. That's hard yeah. to it's hard to spot because there's another big thing. Um, but yeah, I avoided it that time. Yeah, it's definitely the whirlwind because I've I know I saw that mechanic in the first time that I, I fought this guy in normal mode. Yeah, I tried to outrun it. I get outside the big circle. You can't outrun it. That's why I said you need to get behind it, not in front of it. You need to get but behind it. So the, you need, to, yeah. There's no way of getting behind it though. Yeah, there is. <laughs> yeah, there I, is. I, I, I did just do it. Yeah. <laughs> We're not the only people that 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 have done this. <laughs> okay, I didn't see. Any it's it's confusing. Yeah, it's confusing. It kind of goes in one direction, so you can sort of be on the other side. Oh, someone aggroed it. Ah, uh, that was me. You keep the tank up, DP. I'll get Dragon. Oh, you got both of them. That was a death. I didn't go down. Oh, okay. Oh, oh so, so keep the tank up. <laughs> I do like when we uh, when we have a miss pull and we just keep on trying. You know, it's, we don't give up. Come on, the Exactly. And, and if you uh, and if you manage to to win after that, it's like a double victory. Trying to keep both of the stag and him busy, but the stag, just like he does when he's uh, uh, the mini boss, he does. Oh, get away, AOE guys! See, I tried to get out, get behind it. I, I couldn't get behind it. I had no problem. It's not easy, but it, it can't be done. Don't give up too, too was, easily. I was right up against the wall. I don't know if that's possible, but I didn't die, so I guess it's okay. I did. Oh yeah, he hit you and then he very quickly came and hit me. Yeah. I think we probably want to look up a strat at this point so we can try to finish it tonight. Oh, we got the stag yeah. down though. Yeah, but... yeah, I think looking up us. Uh, since we're 10 minutes over already, probably want to uh, look up the stat strat. I mean, where'd he go? Maybe he has a limited number of pulls he can do. Yeah, because he said something about enough. Yeah, perhaps we'll meet again, he said. Yeah, I wonder if that's it. I wonder if you have a limited number of pulls. Oh, that would be... That would be... Horrible. Yeah, he's definitely gone. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. <laughs> well, it keeps people from beating their head against the wall. What? No, that's called progression, man. I don't man, know we that. cleared <laughs> we cleared the dungeon. Yeah, we did. Uh, yeah. yeah, we're done. So, that's well, fine. They, He's gone. So. They, the, the, they've the, done the this before. The, they did this before with wild WoW bosses, where the the, the 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 secret bosses you only have a yeah. limited number of pulls. I was gonna say the 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 globes are not lit anymore, so I just ran up here to come check. 
Yeah, so I can understand that. You've got a limited number of pulls on, like, a secret boss or a, a special boss or something. Yeah, I get it. Oh, I, I, I just didn't like the... I didn't agree with the statement about banging your head against the wall. It's it's yeah it's no no <laughs> they just give just you a set just... number of pulls. It's like you've got X number of tries at this, and that's it. Yep, it's cool. It's 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 he definitely he's definitely went bye bye. And um and the great news is you got at least a staff of the Drake's Rush, although Inferno is like eh, yeah. for tank, but but you got something and um. You want, you know, you one closer, and um, we cleared vet mode, the hardest, yeah. you know, a DLC vet mode, which we, I think, the hardest one we've done yeah. until now was uh, Vanish Cells Two, and now we've done a DLC on vet mode, so that's awesome. Yep. And we, and apart from the first boss, where it just took us a little while to figure out what the mechanic <laughs> was, after we figured that out, it was pretty smooth sailing. Like the last yeah, boss, the we only we we needed two tries, but yeah. We we did pretty well. Yeah, it's good. I, I I think exactly. I think we did a a good job. Yeah, I think uh, uh, if if we had quit on the first boss, that would be banging our head against the wall. But but yeah. the first boss meant that there was progression. <laughs> and, 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 and like I said, I, I don't, I, I didn't, honestly, I didn't even think we were going to finish. So just because of how long the first one took, so, which is part yeah. of progression too. I mean, I, yeah, I, and we actually I finished it under two hours. So. Yeah, that, that's what, that's what progression is. I have no problem with not finishing something. I have a problem with quitting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, which we didn't do. So it's fine. We, we, no. we did, we did what we were capable of doing within the mechanics the of the game. Of we'll, we'll combat. figure it out next time. Um, yeah. I, I'll, uh, I'll see. I'll see if, if I could find a strap for that secret boss. I'm sure there's something uh, on hard mode to see, or on veteran to see what he does, uh, or yeah, to I, see how we get I, around what he does. I think it's obvious that we're missing something. I, uh, I honestly, kind of, I don't think we're missing anything. I think it's just mechanics, uh, not well, not not I mean. standing in shit. I mean, obviously, you know, the first the 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 other two times that I died from ravaging blow, that was something that I could actually block. I shouldn't have died. So you take those two wipes off the board. You know, uh, the other time, you know, we didn't get out of the AOE in time. I got pulled back in. BC got pulled back in. We wiped on, on, on those. That was two other times as well. So it's just mechanics, man. Yeah, it's just the mechanics well, of the fight and getting, it, getting everything, getting the dance down right. We need to, uh, you know, when he gets, when he starts one-shotting everyone, well, there must be a way of stopping that because otherwise it's kind of a... Well, he 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 he. What, of course, he's gonna one shot you guys. You guys aren't tanks. I was dead. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and we we already established that I died because I didn't block what I was supposed to block. Yeah. So that's the same. It's just mechanics. And, but, but, I'm but, gonna, but but I'm I'll, I'll watch I'll watch the strat. It. I'll watch the strat to confirm that. But I do think that it was just mechanics because I don't think that we, you know, were like 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 it wasn't like he was killing us and we didn't know why he was killing us. Did any of you see a scroll for hard mode? I did not. No, I didn't. I didn't either. Um, yeah, so it's, wonder... it's, it's probably one of those oh. things where where maybe we don't kill any ads or something, right? Because there's a lot of ads in that fight. Right. But um, I, I could look that up too. I wouldn't be surprised if it's something like that, where, where we don't kill yeah. any of those big, uh, or even the ghosts, right? Because the ghosts were more annoying than anything. I bet you that's what not it is. It, not that I'd want to. Uh, uh, to try it in hard mode right now, but <laughs> yeah, but still, it's you like know. to know how. Yeah, because it yeah, eventually we can do it in hard mode. Yeah, right. I, I I think it went well. Like I said, um, I'm gonna bind this uh, staff. Thanks, uh, BC. Glad you got that. Yeah, yeah. yeah glad to, uh, glad happy you got to some help sort of people. Staff. Yeah, happy to help people get uh, get some some gear. I'm excited for you to have Drake's Rush because then my uh, that'll be good for my ultimate. Yeah, I'll, I'll start using it even though um, lose some defenses with it, but uh, it, it, it it'll be fine. So it, what does it do? The five piece bonus um, when he when he bashes gives us like more ultimate. Yeah, and, the, and then I'll so use it that regenerates in our with ultimate the, faster. Yeah. Oh, nice. And, and then I'll, I'll use that in conjunction with the power salt set. Which, if I remember correctly, increases your DPS when I self heal.
But yeah, switch him, try to go back and see. I don't think I have any power assault. Pieces yeah, when, when you when you use an assault ability, which would probably be you'd <laughs> switch your heal up for resolving it's, vigor, yeah, then vigor. we get more more weapon as well damage, yeah. Yeah. So 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 we should be able to push out uh more DPS with those two sets combined with via ultimate and just uh physical and spell damage. Yeah, we just you you may want to hold off on the Drake's rush if you need the shield, so from heavy attacking with the ice stuff or something. Yeah, we'll we'll find out. Uh, um, I'm not going to get rid of the other set, so uh, we'll play with it and see how what effect it is without uh, with the with the wrong staff type. Uh, yeah, the only the only the big difference is that um is that I, I get a shield when I heavy attack. And um, it also changes the uh, elemental blockade to an actual um, shield rather than... Because I think fire, it increases your crit. And uh, lightning knocks them off balance. It shocks them. So, but yeah, we'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll play with it and, and we'll see how if it's too much of a drop off. I mean, I, like, I got a lot of HP, so we got a lot of other resistances. Yeah. Um, oh, and does anyone want to do the uh, daily random? Not me. Well, it's dinner no, time. I'm gonna, I, I need to. I'm, I'm getting. I, for whatever reason, I am dead tired today, For and I slept good last night, so I don't know. I'm just. Yeah, no no worries. I figured I'd, I figured I'd ask. Um, the I hope you get some, some sleep, Gregor. I got sleep last night. That's what I can't figure out is I'm just tired today for some reason. Could just be what you did. Like I'm I'm feeling pretty exhausted. Yeah. And, and honestly, it's not so much that my daughter like woke us up in the middle of the night and was like constantly waking us up.